Yeah, this is a widespread problem in our state in Sun City and Surprise. And St. Mary's Food Bank says they've gone from 175 families a day to 500 a day. Now they are desperate for volunteers and they say the increase is making it tough for them to hand out their normal food boxes and pack lunches for kids as part of a summer program. Now down in Tucson, they are also seeing a similar issue. Data suggests over 46,000 children there are facing hunger. Now the Tucson Family Food Project is focused on changing that. The organization not only provides children with food, it teaches them how to shop and cook healthy recipes using local and seasonal produce. Currently, the project provides meal kits and educational videos to over 100 middle school students with hopes to increase that number soon. Now that we've finished our first full year, we can see the results in the students. We're hearing it from the parents, we're hearing it from the teachers. So we've gone from, you know, like, wow, I really hope this program works, to know, like, we know it works, and now we need to grow it because it's really helping people and it's really affecting kids' lives. The organization just launched a new Feed the Kids campaign partnering with the Tucson Roadrunners and Chief Maria Mazon from Boca Tacos and Tequila. They're hoping this will get the word out so they can bring the program to more schools. And starting this journey was a big risk. The founder sold his house to get funding, but he says helping break the cycle of food insecurity in his community was a risk worth taking. Wow, guys. Sold his house. So I know a lot of folks at home are wondering how can we help? Well, you can set up a monthly donation online. $20 a month covers the meal cost of one student for that month. And we have a link on our website at azfamily.com. Just click on the Scene on TV tab. There, Robinson, live in the newsroom. Thank you. We will take.